In this video, we will create the specific transition that will be only used when we are going from the detail page back to the index or category pages. Hopefully, if you've tried to follow me step by step from the previous video, hopefully you've tried to recreate it on your own. But in this video, we will set up a new transition, give it a specific rules. So it's used, the leave transition is used when we're leaving this page and the transition, the enter transition or enter hook will use the correct transition or correct tweens when we are entering the new page. Okay, so let's see how that was done. Let's go back to the app.js and inside of the array of transitions, let's create a new one, new object, give it a name from detail. Of course, this name is very descriptive because we want to use this transition when we're going from namespace detail okay so this will be only used when we're leaving the detail page so we're using the from keyword not to but from and now we can define a leave so when we're leaving this namespace we want to reuse the leave hook but we want to use different timeline which is the leave from project we want to reuse that when we're leaving the project detail page it has a timeline with specific tweens including the content on that page and then when we entering we want to show the new page the index and architecture or architecture where we go from the detail page we want to show it in the same way okay so here is here we are staggering the two links and on completion we are showing the project so let's save that view it in a browser and we should see much smoother transition from this page so with the back to categories link is hiding then we're staggering the two links but it's not actually as smooth as we want it it feels quite slow and that's because we've reused the twin and the on complete method we're waiting for on completion of the revealing of the two links before we showing the projects and we want to show it or play these two at the same time to make it quicker and that should do it so we have the simple twin that staggers the two links and we are revealing the projects at the same time when we click on the back to categories link okay so this is much quicker much smoother and exactly that's how you put a little bit detail into your transitions and you are in a precise control of how the animation plays when you're leaving specific namespaces or when you're entering them. Here we see the rules in Barba and how specific they are to and from specified on one transition makes it the most specific followed by to and from. Okay, so depending how specific you want the transition to be, you need to specify some of these keywords and inside of them you can use not just the namespace we've only used namespace but you could also use a custom method that could for example check whether the link you just clicked on had a specific text or class and that is considered the most specific the, the strongest would always override any route that you set up or any namespace okay so this is the hierarchy Custom is the strongest, followed by route and namespace. Now let's recap what we've done in this video. We've, we've added one more transition. We gave it a name from detail. We specifying when to use this. When we are leaving the detail page, we are using the leave from project timeline and the entering the new page coming in is using the gsub twin to reveal the two links and the animation enter which is exactly the same as we used inside of the once transition but we don't want it we want it to play it at the same time as revealing the two links and not to wait for the incomplete callback like we are in the once transition okay so hope that makes sense and i'll see you in the next video